Hey, you guys, what it do? This is um your boy, DJ Baby Boy, a.k.a. Antonio. And um, I'm here for a um, very short video. I don't want to take none of y'all time. Um, I just want to say that, honestly, my heart um, goes out to the family, to the friends, and to the fans and the teammates of of Trey Walker, who was the um, cornerback of the Baltimore Ravens, um, passed away um, due to a an um, dirt bike accident um, just this past Thursday. Um, very young age, too. Young guy, 23 years old. I'm 25, so I'm older than him by two years. Um, as a NFL fan... And a athlete, because I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually a professional wrestler. Um, I go by the name of Princeton Royal. You guys can look up my YouTube, Princeton Royal. That is my YouTube account. Um, you know, as um as as a young athlete, you know, um, th th there's a lot of things that goes into you know being in sports, you know. Um, it doesn't matter what sport you win, rather it's basketball, football, baseball, doesn't matter. You know, especially see when you're young, there, there's a certain decorum that you got to have. You know what I'm saying? Now, Trey Walker, you know, he didn't do no drugs. He wasn't involved in a domestic dispute. He wasn't involved in any violence or whatever the case was. You know, he was just starting out age 23 rookie, you know, who, who unfortunately got caught up in a in a very tragic situation that's totally out of all of our hands. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, and it hurts me as a fan of the NFL. I'm not, a, a lot of you guys know me. I am the fan of the New England Patriots, but all of that aside, I am a fan of the NFL. You know what I'm saying? And what, and what makes me really sad to hear is that a lot of these young guys doesn't even matter what sport, like I said, you know, a lot of these young guys are getting taken out, you know, rather it's by drugs, violence, accidents, it doesn't matter, you know, you know, this kid, you know, 23 years old, just starting out in this rookie year, played eight games this um, past season, you know, it's, a, it's really, really tragic that he went through all this hard work throughout his career to finally make it in the big time, and now what's sad is that he wouldn't be able to make it, you know, he's not going to be able to make it through the rest of his career. You know, his career has tragically got cut short. Um, My advice for a lot of these young athletes, including myself as a professional wrestler, um, just, just trying to enjoy your life, you know what I'm saying? And really be great, you know, be grateful and be... Um, and be very blessed of the opportunities and the people that's around you, you know, because every day is, you know, every day is our last day, people, you know what I'm saying? And if people got to start waking up and people got to start, you know, really, you, you know, people got to really start understanding that, you know, life is short out here, you know what I'm saying? And when you got a great opportunity, especially when you have an opportunity to, to be part of something major like the NFL or the WWE or the Major League Baseball or um, NHL, whatever, you know, you really want to take that opportunity and really be humble about it. You know, there's a lot of young players out here um, or young wrestlers out here that's, you know, that, that take their opportunity, but they're spiraling, they're, they're like literally spiraling down. You know what I'm saying? Because they rather choose drugs and the high life. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at Johnny Manziel. Everybody knows what's going on with him. And no disrespect, but I'm surprised nothing didn't happen to him yet. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this is a kid who didn't do no drugs. He wasn't caught up in no domestic violence like a lot of these NFL players are nowadays. He wasn't caught up in in, in other things that, that was harmful to him. You know, like I said... He just got caught in a very dangerous and tragic situation that many people thought was going to make it, but ended up not making it out. So this video right here, you know, is to remind all of y'all, man, that life is short. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know when our last day going to be. So 
whatever you got going on in your life, be humble about it. Be grateful about it. If you got people that's in your corner, stick with them. Because when you're in a situation and when you're in a business like professional wrestling, when you're in a business, um, you know, things like that, young people, they come and go. But when you have a good group of people that's down to be with you, that will support you, you hold on to them because things get lonely at the top. If you're not even at the top, things get lonely. What are you doing? You know, like I said, man, you know, I'm a professional wrestler. I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but I'm a pro wrestler. And one thing that I was taught was, you know, when I was training was that it's easy to make enemies, but it's hard to keep friends who's who's going to watch you grow and mature in this business. You know, that's what I was taught. Same thing with football, basketball, baseball, hockey, doesn't matter, you know. Because when you when you become successful, a lot of people start diminishing and they start walking away and whatever, you know. But that's what I'm saying, y'all. At the end of the day, be grateful for the life that you're given. Be blessed of the people around you and just be and just use whatever talent God gave you to to make something of it. You know, this kid had a talent. You know, I've watched a few Ravens games, obviously, and I've seen what kind of stuff this kid could, you know, what this kid did. And this kid would have had a phenomenal, bright future. But unfortunately, God decided to take him. And, um, you know, for what for what it's worth, he did well for what it's worth. So as I wrap this video up on behalf of me and the rest of my family, we would like to extend our condolences to the Fans of the Baltimore Ravens, the fans of Trey Walker, the family of Trey Walker, the teammates of Trey Walker, um, rest in peace, homie. The game of football and its fans will miss you. Rest easy. Peace.